maybe a month ago after the Carabao Cup, he was, how is he doing this? How is he doing this with the academy kids? He is the alchemist. How is he producing this magic? How is he getting so much out of this limited yeah, squad? Wow, 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 now, still... <laughs> four weeks later, he's got to go. And welcome to the latest episode of Yahoo Footballing Weekly, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Yahoo Singapore and me, Yahoo columnist Neil Humphreys. And me, Yahoo editor Jehan Gong. Welcome to another great week of Premier League action. Indeed. Yeah. You forgot one thing. What? Oh, award-winning podcast. Yes, I oh, keep on forgetting. Global. Globally, award-winning podcast. That's what you're listening to Some now. Some people forget, but we never forget. Never forget. We are the global <laughs> award-winning podcast. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. And thanks to you, we have a sponsor and our wonderful friends, Starhub. Yep. Now, you know, Starhub is the official Premier League broadcaster of Singapore. So, for the finale of the Premier League, which is on the 19th of May, Sunday. Yep. So, they're going to hold like a big event at Marina Bay Sands Grand Ballroom, fifth floor. Huge ballroom up there. So, what they're going to do is Almost unpre- unprecedented. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Never. Not in Singapore. They are going to screen all 10 of the matches of the final day. All 10 matches are happening concurrently. They're going to screen all 10, all at the same time, all at the same venue. Brilliant. So whether you are a Manchester United fan, you're a Manchester City fan, Liverpool, Everton, or even a Bournemouth or Nottingham Forest fan. Are you going to name every team except uh, West Ham? West Ham fan. Okay, <laughs> okay. West Ham fan. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> Well, they work any kind of Premier League fan, just you, you you go there, you can watch your team play. Mm. And this is what makes yeah. me laugh. We yeah. say in Singapore, we don't do enough with community events or we don't do this. This is a free event. Free. Absolutely. It's a free event. I can guarantee you, no one's paying me to say this, but I can guarantee you if we were in the UK, oh. the TV broadcasters of the English Premier League, I'm not naming names, they would not be doing free events nope. like this at an Atas Hotel Ballroom in London. Absolutely. They just wouldn't. And it's free. All you have to do is sign up, you and the family. All, right. All you need to do is to register at this website, this URL, Take a register and then you might get a front row seat to all the action. And not just live live matches, you can get food, food and beverages, all sorts of fun field activities. And obviously, one very important thing, we will be there. Yeah. Just before the whole uh, matches begin around 11 o'clock, if I'm not wrong, mm. around 9 something, we will start, uh, we will do a sort of like a special broadcast. Mm. We might do some contests, you know, you can win some, some, some things from us. Just come down and enjoy enjoy the, the, this festivities with us. Yeah, we'll be there. But don't let that put you off. Correct. Don't, don't let, don't let that put you off. If you don't like us, then might. That's okay. <laughs> it's not the first time. It's not the first time. But come for the 10 games live. It's going to be a yep. very it's, special event. And especially if the title is not decided, wow. Even even better. Brilliant. Any yeah. more promos for yep. Starhub? Our uh, friends? We'll, we'll go to that later. Next, next, next part. But you, if you remember, the last two weeks we've been doing the... Spurs, uh, Song Hyun Min's Tottenham jersey giveaway. We have. So we told you to send in why why you like Song Hyun Min so much and we have picked a winner. The winner is, the email address is here, um, ryanlimziren at gmail.com. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ryan. Yep, I'm going to read out what he wrote to us. We, we asked in 100 words or less, uh, name, tell us why you like Song Hyun Min so much. And we got a lot of responses, oh, right? Almost a hundred responses. Wow, very good. It's really good. Very Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Thank you so much for, 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 for signing up. So this is his winning comment. Huh? Growing up in Singapore, my love for football started early on. While playing at the void deck with my friends, everyone, everyone wanted to be Ronaldo or Messi. As a young player who wanted to dazzle the foot at my feet, I never had an Asian superstar attacker to emulate. That changed with Song Hyun Min. His journey from South Korea to the Champions League final inspired inspired me deeply. Son's success shattered stereotypes and proved that talent knows no boundaries. Winning Son's signed shirt would not only be a dream for me, but a symbol of hope for every aspiring Asian footballer. Whoa, stay Whoa, up. Well hey. said, yeah. Right. Well done. I'd just like to say, Ryan. Mm. What, you want my job, is it? <laughs> you don't think media work hey, is hard it's enough? It's working you hard want, for a podcast take, job, man. You want to take my writing job as well, is yeah. it, right? As well as the jersey off well my said. back. Well said. Man. Great stuff, right? Congratulations. Congratulations. I think they've already informed you already, and then we will be sending the jersey very soon. Thank you very much. Yep. Please stop writing now, Ryan, because... <laughs> 
Him and me need, need to keep need our jobs. Yeah, we, we need to work. work. We need yeah, to work. work. And thanks to our friends at AIA Singapore for sponsoring yeah. the jersey. He's the brand ambassador, obviously, of AIA Singapore. He is indeed. Yep. Speaking of Tottenham, let's kick off right Ooh. there. The North London what derby just match. went to Arsenal. What a match. Yeah. Crazy match. Mm. We, we thought it was done and dusted by halftime. Arsenal were leading 3-0 and it was already eventful. There were posts being hit. There were like disallowed goals, which was very VAR. Those VAR closed things again, you know, mm. and there was a lot of you know passionate things. But and then Arsenal somehow led three 0 at Tottenham. Yep. I thought, wow, this 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 Arsenal was awesome. They they you know they were they were all season long they were very good at corner kicks, yep. getting goals from yep. corners, and those and every time they the corner just swung in so dangerously that they considered two goals from that. So. So I mean, all all credit to Arsenal for that first half. Then second half, David Raya happened. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, the, well, I think it's an error. I think it was obviously an error. And then he he caught the ball, and then Romero scored a goal, and then thought, ah, still three one, still fine. And then, of all people, Declan Rice lost lost his head a bit. Was was a bit too nervous and mm. clipped somebody's uh, uh uh legs. And then another penalty. Song Hyun Min took the penalty. Uh, there's some shit housery by Ben White, which is awesome. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> but you know, he he kept his cool and scored a goal. Yeah, it was good and stuff. And then suddenly, the last five minutes was super tense. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's what you want. Yeah. I mean, you're right about the keeper, right? Mm. Let's start there. He's mm. got a touch of the Onanas, right? <laughs> it, it, at the start <laughs> of the season, it was Onana yeah. having the Onanas. Now it's Raya with the yeah. Onanas and. I'm a big fan of Arteta. Mm. I think what Arteta mm. has done at Arsenal has been fabulous. fabulous. But his number one issue in the summer is his number one. I know he backed uh, Raya. It hasn't really worked. He doesn't feel as assured in the box. You've got a disgruntled goalkeeper Aaron on the Ramsdale. bench mm. in Aaron Ramsdale. Mm. Something's got to give. Whatever happens at the end of this season, job number one for Arteta, fix your goalkeeper's position once and for all. You look at Allison, you look at Edison, and then you go further back with De Gea and Van der Sar and Schmeichel. Very rarely do you win a title or anything without a good, solid keeper. They haven't got one. And Raya is on loan, right? Yeah, I think so. So, so I think he can actually go back to Brentford. Mm. I think, I think, yeah, you are, you're absolutely right. That there's every chance that Ateta should look for an upgrade in the the the, the goal, uh, goalkeeping department. Mm. Um, and just a bit of balance, just to add to that, a mm. bit of balance. No more talk about Arsenal choking. Even no, no. if they don't win the title, they're not going to choke. Their points total is fantastic. fantastic. As we mentioned before, they're probably going to end up with more points than the Invincibles, mm -hmm. which is extraordinary. You look at their signings. Okay, I know the obvious counter argument is, well, he spent 100 million plus in the last few seasons. Okay, Declan Rice, obvious. Mm. Kai Havertz, nope. not obvious. Mm. Until he's becoming one of the signings of the season yeah, yeah. and he's carrying them in the yeah. last few matches. So Arteta, to me, looks like a potential successor to his mentor at Go Manchester ahead, City. Oh. That's going to piss off a lot of <laughs> Manchester City fans and Arsenal fans. But yep. if you look at the current scene in European management and you look at a potential successor to Pep, Arteta does look like a good choice. Yeah. I'm not saying he'd do it, mm. but he's looking the part. Yeah. Got to win something first. Yeah, something. I, think, I think he has to win something with Arsenal. And, you know, he has a deep connection with Arsenal. Of course, of course. And, and, and I think he wants to do it first. But also, I think those were the only, probably his two major signings of the off-season. And both, now now we can say this, that both have hit the target. Correct. And they are transformative signings in the sense yes. that Declan Rice completely made the team much better and Kai Havertz slowly got into his part. Mm. And that, that is why Arsenal continue, uh, were continuing to uh, challenge for the title this season because um, last season, we, we we thought that last season they were too too light, a bit not not don't have the depth, mm. didn't have the depth. But this time they had all they they put just put two. They and we, and we, in the off season we were thinking, is that enough? Was that going to be enough? It turns out these two are so crucial to their title challenge this season. And you know, I, I put in comparison with my team Liverpool. Although we got Alexis McAllister and. Um, Dominic Soboslai. I didn't. I don't think that on retrospect, they didn't last the whole season. Mm. They, they they were good in spurts, but they couldn't uh, let get 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 it done the whole season. But it Whereas, is a, a rebuilt midfield. Correct. It was, I mean, it's understandable. Different situation. Mm. But Declan Rice and Havertz not only they slot into it, 
seamlessly like Virgil van Dijk or Alisson did for Liverpool. But, you know, it is just lifted the team yeah. just that bit more. And, you know, I, I know that uh, Manchester City still hold that kind of advantage. But, I mean, there's absolutely... I, th- I think they have been the team of the season so far, Arsenal. I think they're up there. Mm. I think they're up there. Mm. As opposed to Tottenham. Now, I want to have a quick word on Tottenham mm. because there's been a lot of criticism. I knew this would happen. Yep. Evans, Postacoglu. I would look at it the other way. If I'm a Tottenham fan, I will go to the club and say... Daniel Levy, it's time to invest serious money Balls now. Balls in his cup. Correct, mm. 100%. I've been to the stadium. It's the best in the world. They're one of the few clubs that financial fair play is not going to affect them. Well done. You've got your books in order. Now get your team in order, right? Mm. Ange Postacoglu was overachieving yep. until Christmas. We know that. Yep. This is probably where they really are. They're about a sixth, seventh place team-ish. Fair Maybe enough. even fair eighth, right? Mm. Mm. We, st- we seem to have forgotten already that they lost the best striker of his generation and didn't really replace him, mm. who then went on to knock in 30-plus goals or whatever it is at Bayern right. Munich. So Harry Kane is still delivering. In the summer, bare minimum, Son Heung-Ming needs a partner. Definitely. Some kind of partner. They need a centre-back. They need a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is a good lad. I don't know. I, I find him a bit shaky. I know he made a few saves, but I find him a bit young shaky. enough to keep developing, but okay. Okay, well, Fair someone enough, to support. Enough. But they need full-back cover. Yep. They need full-back cover. You could argue a central midfielder and certainly a decent partner for Son heung yep. It's not really James Madison's job. Yep. Still still the, not the finished product. That's, no. that's safe to say. I Back think, and Poster yeah. Coburn. And, and, and you know, you can see that he is insisting to play his style. Mm. And you can see that the players are struggling, and that and that that's the clearest indication that you know these players, either you Im- upgrade them quickly, yeah. or you try or you try the best to improve during the off season. Yeah, and he shouldn't mm. back down, Ange yeah, Postecoglou, no. because they played terribly before yeah. and won nothing. Mm. So at least play well and win nothing. You know, they're, <laughs> you're winning either way. You're winning progress. nothing. Either that's way, you're winning nothing. And the Spurs yeah. fans, the sensible Spurs mm. fans. Acknowledge that they can see that it's more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? As always, send mm. your comments to Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on X, and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. Right. Now, <laughs> Manchester City. Boring, boring. This is my Sorry. biggest fear. Uh, right off the bat, my yeah. biggest fear is Manchester City are going to sleepwalk to a fourth title in a row without ever really stepping out of second gear. This, this, yeah. this game against Forest encapsulates the season. They weren't great. No. They took a 1-0 lead. Forest were in it. Okay, they brought on Haaland. He made a difference, scored a great goal. I'll get to Haaland. But more broadly, I think you could make a case that City have rarely got out of second and third gear not this all season. Good. That's not a criticism mm. after their treble and everything else. And if they win... Another league, a record fourth on autopilot. Mm. You tell me, in all, putting all subjectivity aside, how is that possibly good for the English Premier League? If a team can coast this easily. Yeah, definitely not good for the Premier League as a product. Yeah. Because I think fans will get a bit dispirited, you know, especially Gunners fans or even Liverpool fans. And, you know, it's all up to the rest of the team to try to catch up. But, you know, some sometimes, you know, when you try to catch up and you see Manchester and Man City just buy another new player, a new dimension to their place. You, you see, look at Julian Alvarez, Philip uh, Doku, Jeremy Doku. Mm. You know, they are just being bought and then they're already starting to contribute, adding another dimension. And then you just wonder... How how are you going to keep pace with all the improvements? Yeah, and and obviously, I mean, for for me, I, I've been uh, watching, check, looking at all the Liverpool chat groups, and it's always that sense of you know you lose a match and then it's like the end of the world. Yes, and you know, exactly you know everybody is getting get get antsy, everybody get dispirited, and then you know, obviously, all the snide comments of what the the financial charges are come in, you know. And that's not healthy for, for no. supporting football, isn't it? But that's such a good point you mm, make mm. that 
I don't like the way that it's become now in yeah. English football that you it only have to draw up. a game. Yeah. And you feel like, remember we said, and we were right, and I hate being right, but we said a few weeks ago when Liverpool dropped points, I can't remember yeah. the game now, we came in here very despondent and yeah. said, it's over, yeah. it feels over. Yeah. When, of course it wasn't, mathematically, yeah. Yeah. but it's Manchester City, you know their impeccable track record, yeah. it you is know, over. You know it was, it's going to come in, the, 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 the machine is going to roll through. Yeah. That's what you don't want, that's what you don't want. But yeah. I, will, I will say one thing, Erling Haaland, this cool. makes me laugh, to anyone who said in the last couple of weeks that Erling Haaland was a League Two striker or was he mobile it's Roy King. or didn't offer it's, enough. It's Roy King. But there was a few people jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> yeah. I'll just say, you're a bit of an idiot. <laughs> just a little bit. It's amazing. Just a little bit of an idiot. I mean, because if you saw that game against Forrest, he was on the bench. Mm. The second he came on, <laughs> Forrest were terrified. Yeah. They had to change. So they double marked him. They tag teamed him. That straight away opened up more space in midfield. Wow. And then the goal he scored was something like, I wrote it down here, a 30 pass sequence that began from midfield because suddenly the midfield was liberated yeah. because everyone was terrified yeah. of Haaland. The man is the complete center forward. He has no weaknesses in front of goal. Right. I mean, there's, it's one thing to say he can improve. Of course, everyone yeah, can you know, Yeah, he can add bits and pieces. He's still very, very and young striker. he's been striker. injured. He's yeah, not fully he's fit. Injured. He can add a bit more. That, and that will serve him well in the subsequent seasons that he wants to stay in Man City. But to call him a League 2 striker, that's just... And not only that, yeah. so it's, a, it's an offence to every other club yeah. and their supporters. If you had any idea what it was like yeah. to watch Mikel Antonio <laughs> every week and what it does to a man's yeah, spirit... I, I, I watch it right? during this week, I'm like, no. That's not. <laughs> I, I, I'm not picking on the guy, but I can't think of too many times where a centre forward goes through on goal and the entire fan base goes, that's a miss. <laughs> that's a miss. Wow. And, and that's um, the first thought. The second thought is if you're lucky, if we're lucky, we might get a rebound. Oh. We might get a fluky rebound. He's going to miss. Poor he man. might hit the goalkeeper's knee and then someone will get the rebound. Why can't you prove that Hammers fans wrong, Antonio? But that's what <laughs> yeah, most that's clubs what have. Yeah. Not everybody yeah, exactly. has a Haaland. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Know? Even Liverpool don't. So Very true. <laughs> it's another issue, which is a nice segue to Liverpool, West Ham, Liverpool. <sighs> we made jokes about Antonio. He scored, didn't he? Antonio scored, right? Against he? Liverpool. Oh, the, yes, the, yes, the, yes. The, the header, right? When Antonio is scoring against Liverpool, you know there that, might be one or two defensive awful, issues. Awful defence. No, that's their goal. What is happening? I mean, I mean, you can say that, that uh, yeah, those for those who just got onto the Liverpool bandwagon, you will say, that, uh, how come this will happen? But it's, it's actually been happening for, for every season that Jurgen Klopp has been. So, at the start, that, there, there'll be one month where Liverpool do nothing right. Yep. Hit the wall. Everybody's every everybody's hitting the hit the wall physically or mentally. And then there'll be a month where you know everything doesn't go wrong, doesn't go right. So when at the start of his tenure, maybe um it'd be in January or December, then we get closer and closer, maybe March or April, where we hit the hit the hit the, and during the title winning season in the in twenty twenty, we had a superb start. Like mm. we could, we were unbeaten for two thirds of the season, and that gave us the enough buffer for the ending, which was a bit of a soft landing. But still, we are too far ahead, and that's how we won won the that that title. After that, there were injury problems. There were also seasons where where the whole team hit the wall in, in February or or March, and and that 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 has let I mean. That that has led me. I mean, I, personally, I believe that his gurgan pressing tactics, although it's great, it is is it is very very effective if everybody can do it. But it takes it, it is a big toll. It takes a big toll on on the the team, the players, physique, mm. and then there will be some points where that intensity makes them hit the wall and they couldn't. Give anymore. The whole team feels very weary. They're shattered. They are shattered. They come. They come find that extra second to 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 make the pass or to run past the 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 defense for for the goals. It's yeah. is you can see very clearly. They they almost operating at different speeds. Uh, yeah. uh, and so, I mean, I, I we uh, there's talk among the Liverpool fans that you know yeah I mean Jurgen Klopp we love him we we are we are idolize him forever but. Yes, it is time maybe to 
change. Oh, um, yo, yeah. you Liverpool I mean, fans are unbelievable. I mean, it's, you are unbelievable. Three weeks ago, lit, no, maybe a month ago, after the Carabao Cup, he was, how is he doing this? How is he doing this with the academy kids? He is the alchemist. How is he producing this magic? How is he getting so much out of this limited yeah, squad? Wow, 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 now, still... <laughs> four weeks later, he's got to go. Yeah, he's hit the wall. The so greatest go. manager in the Premier League era for Liverpool, oh. he's got to go. I mean, he's, Jeez, he's already you going, you he's already going anyway. So, 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 and anyway, we, we've sort of seemingly found... Yeah, him replay. choosing to go and Liverpool fans wanting him to go are okay, two different okay. things. Either him or Salah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're talking. Okay. Right, let's do Salah. Yeah. Mo Salah has to leave Liverpool at the end of the season, 100%. I've, I've got no doubts about this and I'll tell you why. Good timing. It wasn't the touchline... Spat. No, no, never. It was the silly comment he made in the mix zone. Yeah. That is him deliberately and publicly challenging his authority, yeah. Klopp's authority. Because this week, John Terry did a good interview. You can watch it on YouTube with Simon Jordan. Mm. And John Terry tells a story about when Andre Villas Boas mm. took over, he made the academy kids going first class and he made the first teamers going economy class to prove the point. John Terry went to Andre villas Boas and said, if you keep the first teamers in economy, this plane is not taking off with us. We're getting off the plane. villas Boas backed down. Back down. He never got his authority back. And this is what happens when you have club legends at a club for a very long time and the new guy comes in. This is what, uh, what's the new guy's name? Sloss? Arna Slot. Yeah. This is what he'll face when he comes in. Mm. He, he either deals with Mo Salah immediately or he sells him. You had the same thing at Man U with, uh, what's his name? David Moyes, Ferdinand, Rooney, the established pros. You had the same thing at Chelsea with Drogba, Lampard, Terry, and anyone who came in. And you're going to have the same thing at Liverpool. And the easiest way to fix it is to say, thanks, Mo Salah. We'll take the 200 million or whatever Saudis are going to pay and reinvest. That's the way forward. Okay. I mean, I, I, I disagree. Sort of, Go on, disagree. I, I, sort of, uh, <laughs> I, I sort of see your point. But I also feel that he he has earned the right to live on his own terms. And maybe with the new coach, he might have a different attitude. Okay. Why would he have a bad one now? Huh? No, if he, if he has a... Why does he need a different attitude? What's wrong I with mean, his current attitude? I mean, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be more receptive to the new coach. Okay. Maybe. And, and, and no, who knows? He might be like a, like a leader, somebody, a veteran presence who ties over the, you know, the, 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 the inexperience of maybe the new signings. But what has Klopp done wrong? Because I know you live with the boys, you all want to sack him now. <laughs> This week. This next week, week, week you will love him. But you all want to sack Klopp now. What has he done wrong with Salah? Salah came back from the African Cup of Nations in January with an injury. Mm. He wasn't fit and right. I was hamstring, right? Mm. He struggled ever since. Whenever he's played, he hasn't played particularly well. You've seen all yep, the stats. Yep, yep. Any manager would bench him until he recovers and bring him on for cameos. What has Klopp done wrong? No, no I don't mean that he do, he, he do him by doing that, he's wrong. I mean that he's going to leave anyway. It's like Klopp is going to yep. leave anyway. And there's a new coach coming in. It's it, Everything can start from zero again. And there's no point of immediately trying to get rid of somebody who is a proven... Uh, a, a proven star in this... Uh, in, in, in the Liverpool... In, in the Premier League. Mm. Maybe Owen, uh, Arnold Slot and uh, Salah can hit it off straight away and... Mm. He can stay on and be a positive presence. I mean, this is all conjecture. Mm. It all depends on what 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 uh, Arnold Slot might, might think of. Maybe Arnold Slot say, "Okay, I want to start completely new," and that's fair also. Mm. But I I think it's too early to say uh, that Salah should definitely go. Fair enough. What 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 is what is, what is your reaction? Tell us yep. on uh, Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube. Uh, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on X and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. Look, anyone could see in that match, there was only one striker with calibre. So Mark Liverpool, Antonio? swap deal, Antonio. All right? Uh, we will. West Ham will take Antonio. Yeah, we'll no, take Antonio. Take... No, we'll take Salah. You West Ham take... will oh. take Salah and you can have Antonio. Right, right let's do the predictions. Uh, Arsenal, Bournemouth, easy. Arsenal, easy. although Bournemouth had a good result the weekend. They're over, doing well. Yep. But I still think uh, just Arsenal two one. I, I think I think they are on the road. This this after after the turn of this year they have been absolutely super. Hmm. I, I think they will they will carry on winning, and it's all up to Manchester City to try to 
keep winning as well and overtake them. Fair enough. Yep. Manchester City against Wolves. Wolves have become the, an enigmatic yeah. team. They're Sometimes. a bit of a, the car habits of football teams. <laughs> you never know. Wolves? What is Wolves? <laughs> what are Wolves? I thought this season was done and they, and then, they, they won again last yeah. week. I still think it'll be close. It could be a banana skin. Yeah. I'm going to go 2-1 City. Shall we? Shall I go for one one city? On. No, I don't think. I don't think so. Not not not, not yet. I think the Spurs game, Man City Spurs game. That's the game in hand they have. Mm. That is the key one. Mm. If Spurs can somehow lift themselves, I think Man City will have a tough game there. But for this one, I think uh, it's still Man City two 0 No, oh, <laughs> big build up and then nothing. <laughs> You're like watching Liverpool. Big build up okay. and then anti climax. So Liverpool Spurs. Liverpool Spurs. Oh. Liverpool three. Spurs two. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be messy. Neither team can defend. Neither team can manage set pieces. Liverpool have got just the edge in attack. Three two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's an Anfield so three, uh, three, three one <laughs> Liverpool. Uh, and we'll have a VA out decision given wrong or whatever. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, thanks as always for watching us. It's thanks to you that we have our sponsor in Starhub. Starhub, yep. So sign up for uh, sign up for their package, Premier League package, $25, 22 cents per month. Uh, if you are from the pioneer generation or the young generation, it's even better. You get half price. Yeah. Uh, cost about $12 a bit more than $12 per month you get all the all the features such as you know you 4k quality multiple devices full match replace everything $25.22 absolute bargain mm. and do join us in part two we have a very very special guest from Alberex yep Captain Kowai Lun yeah so join us in part two he'll mm. tell us about Alberex's plans for the new season and we'll see you very soon take care take care